In between sort of forecasts, it's not quite the extreme uh, ferocity of summertime. It's not quite that beautiful fall cold feel that a lot of us are looking uh, forward to with cold fronts on the way, but it's also not terrible. Temperatures upper 70s right now uh, or started the day in the 70s and upper 60s and then our highs now in the upper 80s. That's where we've climbed to on this Wednesday afternoon. Feels like temperatures not terrible, but definitely feeling hot if you're out there doing something strenuous in the sunshine. And as we look at our winds, that is a nice thing if you can get somewhere where you can feel that breeze. It's feeling pretty nice coming in from the north and looking at our dew point temperatures. Not bad at all for a lot of North Shore spots where you woke up to that really nice uh, coolish kind of feeling a day. Our dew point temperatures south of the lake are in the 70s. And remember, this is just our measure of humidity that we look at when you're in the 60s. You're starting to feel a good bit less humid. Lower 70s, even not terrible. Upper 70s is where you get to that summer kind of feel where it's so oppressively muggy. We're all waiting for dew points in the 40s and 50s. That'll be with our cold front uh, that would be coming eventually in the fall. One of those real fall cold fronts, but not here yet. You can see we have a little surface low right here. That's part of why we're seeing those north winds at the surface. So that nice breeze in some spots, not super strong, but up to about 10 or so miles per hour. We also have a few clouds and a few tiny showers out here in southwest. Mississippi. So our models are showing maybe a touch of that could head our way, but overall our rain chance stays pretty slim today. A little less muggy, still hot, but overall pretty nice. High temperatures about 91. And then we drop through the 80s for what looks like could be a pretty pleasant evening. And tonight low temperatures north of the lake could brush upper 60s to about 70. South of the lake temperatures lower to middle 70s. Precision cast quickly for today. You can see around that low off to our north. Here we have that movement of a few clouds and this is by 6 p.m. Maybe a stray shower or two. This model actually wants to bring in a couple of showers by later tonight, Wednesday at night, 9 p.m. I paused it there and you could see a couple of showers north of the lake and maybe not quite as much later in the nighttime. Weekend forecast making your plans probably for this weekend already as we're getting close. Looks a little hotter as we see humidity edge up a touch. Our temperatures edge up a little bit. So Saturday and Sunday should be in the lower 90s for highs and our rain chance not very high either day, but both days will have at least a chance for a shower or two, particularly on Sunday for a Saints game. Temperatures in the lower 90s feeling kind of hot and summer like like it often is for these first games of the season. Looking ahead to what's happening with our weather this weekend. This is Saturday morning and then into Sunday. You can see I've paused it here 5 p.m. Sunday. At least a few showers around as this front settles in. It's not extremely strong, but we'll see if it can drag in a little bit of less humid air. And also if it stalls here along our uh, coastline, it could also help to stir up a few showers, maybe Monday and Tuesday with a little higher rain chance then. So these will be some subtle changes moving into the start of next week that we'll be looking at. I like to see that drop in humidity on Monday to some lower dew point kind of levels, maybe in the 60s and possibly this model wants to put in another front at the end of the upcoming week. We start to see this often you know, these are not perfect estimates of how less humid it will be, but I like to see at least a hint several days out that we might be seeing a stronger front. In the tropics, we have our tropical wave out here. It's messy, it's showers and thunderstorms, not organized, not coming together yet, and only a 30% chance of developing in the next couple days, but in the next week, more so probably when it gets farther out over the Atlantic, it'll have that higher chance of developing into a depression, possibly tropical storm Gabrielle. We'll see our big global models do have it all the way by Friday, September 12th, somewhere around the extreme northern Caribbean Sea out here. So we'll track it. Models have been taking it out to the north, so that would be a great thing, but really too early to say for sure. They also pick up on maybe some low pressure out here out over the east coast, but that would probably drift farther out to the east because of some big troughing over the eastern United States. So that would kind of keep it on its track out to slowly the open Atlantic. Seven day forecast for us includes no tropical threats, a little more heat for the weekend, and then hopefully that drop in temperatures and maybe even a drop in humidity early next week with that higher rain chance. If you get